Hello, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the MyPin Bluetooth receiver and the Logitech Bluetooth receiver. Both the Logitech and the MyPin Bluetooth devices come in at just under $30. The MyPin device is a Bluetooth receiver, a DAC and headphone amplifier all in one. The Logitech is just a straight Bluetooth receiver. So let's first discuss the Logitech Bluetooth receiver. I've seen this in two brand names, Logitech and Asyncan. The units are physically the same on the outside and as well on the inside. The boards are exactly the same. There's literally no difference. On the top here, we have a pairing button. This is only for pairing. The unit does not have an on-off button. It's rubberized on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on your uh, equipment. I really like that. On the rear, we have auxiliary output. This is 3.5 millimeter output. We have RCA output and they are both the same level and they're tied in together. Here we have the jack for the included AC adapter, which is actually a pretty decent adapter. It's not bad, I've, I'm familiar with this style of adapter and I've never had a problem with one of those. So depending on which manufacturer's website you look at, this is rated at Bluetooth 3.0 or 4.0. I can't really find too many detailed specs on this. This has a um, slightly lower preamp output level the standard currently is 2 to 2.1 volts RMS output. This, I believe, is almost half of that on this receiver. It doesn't have very good left to right channel separation. It just kind of gives you an image of just one kind of blended in sound stage. Um, some people are into that, some aren't. I'm personally not. But um, as far as overall operation of the device. It's been dependable. I actually have the Asyncan version out as well, and that works pretty good too. I have that out on loan right now, actually, and I've never got it back. So obviously he's okay with it. Um, this device can be a little bit grabby, meaning it wants to override all of your other Bluetooth devices in your home and hook up to your cell phone when you activate your Bluetooth on your cell phone. It can be annoying. However, if you're the type of person that's had issues with trying to Bluetooth or pair to Bluetooth devices before, this is not going to be an issue. This will get you hooked up, but quick. All right, like I say, no on off switch. So in order to cut power to this, you're gonna have to just unplug the AC adapter. Next, we have the MyPin device. This comes in at under $30 as well. This is a Bluetooth 5.0 receiver, as well as a DAC, all right? It also has an ex, uh, external antenna, which I like. I get a little bit extra range compared to the Logitech. On the front here, we have our mode select switch. So number one will be Bluetooth, number two will be optical, number three will be coaxial. These are inputs. Here we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack high and low gain control, which will basically stay on high at all times. And then we have an on off switch and volume control. This knob here operates the volume that goes to your headphones. This also will control the output level of the rear mounted RCAs. On the rear panel, we have our five volts input. This is only for powering up the device. It will not act as a USB DAC. These are our analog or RCA outputs. Our three inputs, we have Bluetooth, Toslink or optical input, and coaxial input. The audio quality of this is exceptional. It has great left to right separation not a mixed in sound stage like the Logitech has. I get, I get really good range, almost whole house range with this. Uh, I mean, at $30, this has a heck of a Bluetooth receiver in it. And then I also like the fact that we could say, use this to say, act as a handshake between our TV and our old vintage home stereo. 
This is really, this is really nice. This is the DAC side of things. If you have another device, maybe, I don't know, a CD or a TV or an old school VCR that maybe has coaxial output for audio, you could also use that, plug it into here and then output analog signals to your home stereo. So this is a pretty nice sounding unit. I think it wins as far as sound quality between the two. It's more feature packed. However, it is not perfect. The my pin will exhibit a slight digital clicking or a, a very low pitched buzzing sound between tracks. That's pretty much about the only downside of this. The Logic Tech, on the other hand, has the downside of the um, just the whole staging issue and uh, low preamplifier output. I don't see very many comebacks from these as far as uh, customer returns, and I don't see very many customer returns on the MyPin either. So I guess that's just kind of up to you. Do you want something a little more um, feature loaded with that little click sound between tracks or that? Which, like I say, this is very good for the um, pairing impaired user. Thanks for watching. Now, wait a second. We can't just end this video without a sound comparison. Okay, so we have the Logitech fired up and ready to go. I have the volume control at a preset level. I have that little piece of tape on there marking it. So I'm not going to turn it up or down. You're going to hear a couple things in this test. You're going to hear how this sounds and how the my pen sounds and then you'll see the the uh, added gain that this has how much actually louder the stereo goes so if you guys have a home stereo that say you need to turn up like you have an old bluetooth receiver or just a an inexpensive one you have to turn your volume control like way up here to get it to a decent sound um, this will take care of that anyway this receiver happens to be pretty sensitive so we should get some good results with the Logitech. We're gonna do Funky Disco, and let's give it a shot. Okay, that's the Logitech, and I just wanted to show you that the volume is up all the way on the uh, Bluetooth transmitting device. All right, let's go to the MyPin. Okay, so we've got this paired up to my phone. It pairs up just as easy as easy can be. Not a problem. Okay, so we've heard the volume output level of the Logitech. Get ready to turn your speakers down, boys and girls. We're going to turn this puppy on now, all right? This is what I'm talking about, that extra preamp level on this. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, the my pin is quite a bit louder. I don't really, um, I don't know if you can hear this on camera, but as I went up, that low frequency response hung in there. In fact, it even got a little bit more exaggerated. So if you're kind of a mm, semi bass head, maybe this, you'll like this uh, quite a bit more. Anyway, um, you'll notice on my receiver, I have the treble control turned up all the way because I'm using an old dead pair of baby advents. And um, it's just the way, you know, I like that. I like that sound. I'm a Klipsch guy. What can I say? Anyway, um, other than that, I haven't changed anything. As you can see, the volume control is still set. So there you go. Um, you know what, before we wrap this up, let's try to uh, replicate this little, uh, digital noise that I'm talking to you about. Okay. So it's going to be a little loud. So I'm just going to kind of warn you. So here's what I'm going to do. When you hit play, and then stop it. You're going to hear a little blip, just very, very faint in the background. I hope this camera picks it up. Let's give it a shot.
bleep right there. Okay, that's basically it. So, my pin for the win. Thanks for watching. Please leave questions or comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe.